Okay, Karen, I'm making a video for you on how to light up the drill and cook a tri-tip. The first thing you do is put the charcoal, lump charcoal, whatever charcoal you want to use. So you put that in your trusty fire starter thing here, it's called a chimney. And then what I like to do is instead of using a newspaper, because when I get a newspaper, is I can burn this. Tear this up like so. This is also like kind of a cool form of recycling. Humble this up. Alright. Get your lighter down here. Light this. Like so. Any dip of mosquitoes. Alright. You see that fire there already? You put this right on top. You give that maybe 10 or 15 minutes and you're good to go. Alright, we'll come back when it's time to dump the coals. So, right now you see, got a lot of smoke coming out of here. It's getting nice and hot already. In probably about maybe five or six minutes, it'll be good to go. Put it, lay, lay it down over the coals. Let it rest for a second, and then we'll put the grill on, put the meat on. Okay, so the coals are ready. Watch this, we're gonna just dump coals. This is pretty sweet. All right, coals are ready, that's empty. Okay, let's take off our glove. Don't need that now. Take our little, so this is your grill scraper. I'm gonna use this just to kind of move things around a little bit. So nice and even all the way around. So Grandpa Tom told us that kind of hit the grill once in a while. Let him know who's boss and makes people think, wow, what's this, this guy knows what he's doing. Okay, now we take our grill. And by the way, Here's a little stick right here. Whenever I find little sticks on the ground, if I'm cooking, I'll throw it on there. Why not? Take some fuel. All right, so just put our drill on and close this up for a few minutes. Let the grill just kind of settle a little bit and then we'll put our, uh, our tri-tip on. All right, so here's a basic setup for a good steak. Get some salt, rosemary, black pepper, some oil, and some garlic. Usually I'll use Montreal steak seasoning, but for some reason I ran out. And we also have a very nice tri-tip that we're gonna be cooking tonight. Uh, this is kind of a California cut that's starting to make its way to Austin. I still can't find it everywhere, but we got a good one here. All right, so grill's ready. And we're going to give it a quick little scrape from the uh, fish tacos we made the other night. And so take the camera here. Let me check out the, our uh, tri tip. There's our tri-tip right there, you see it? Nice rosemary and salt, pepper and oil, and a little bit of garlic. Hold on, pal. Hold on. All right, so, actually, I'm gonna make this easy on myself. I'm just gonna do this, and just drop it on the grill. Ready? One, two, three. There we go. Okay, so, you see, our tri-tip, and uh, normally what I've done with the fatty side up, i start off that way, but this is okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this go for three and a half ten minutes or so, and then I'll flip it, and then I'll close it up. So I'll be, I'll check back in when I flip it, okay? See ya! Time to flip! Curl right there. 
right there. All right. His experience is here in this ball. Flip right now. No, it's time to close. Yeah, we want to kind of vent this a little bit. Right about, right about there. It makes it feel good. Let's, I'm going to show you something here real quick. So. These are your vents, okay, and the more open they are, the more oxygen goes in and the hotter your fire gets. If you close a little bit more, the fire goes down, it's not as hot, okay? That's something really, really important. There's also vents on the bottom. I'm not going to show you those because it's too hot, but that's how you measure or that's how you um, determine how hot or how cool your fire is. All right, good job. One thing I meant to say is that we're probably going to have this on here for maybe 17, 18 minutes. Not too long. Um, I do, usually don't use a thermometer. I kind of go by feel. And um, I don't use a clock either or a stopwatch. Go by feel because I'm that good. Thanks. All right. It's been time enough for me to uh, trim the basil and water a little bit. And here the fire department have to go on the call. So let's see how we're doing. This is hot, so we're using oven That feels good. All right. Ooh, it looks good too. All right. So we've got. We put some tin foil over our cutting board. I think that's smart because we're going to cut it on the cutting board anyway, right? Right. So here we go. My Father's Day Tomers. Here's the looking top. Ooh, nice. There we go. If you want to take a quick peek, let's good look at it. Got some nice char on there and all that type of stuff. All right, we're gonna close this up, let it rest for a few minutes, and then we'll, uh, we'll dig in. All right, love you, buddy. All right, so here is our tri-tip, it's all done. And it is perfect. Buddy, there you go, pal. And uh, hope you enjoy grilling with dad.